Leo's what's up? Welcome to your reading. This one is all about the law of attraction. It's about karma. It's about manifestation. And so whether you are looking for abundance in love or finances, career, health fulfillment, whatever prosperity it is that you, you know, that you, that you seek and you'd really like to enjoy, what we always want to look at is what's happening in your energy because your energy determines what is possible and what is not possible for you. So just to be clear, everything is always possible, but is it possible for you? And that's why we're looking at your karma. This is a timeless reading, but if you do want a time frame, we're kind of looking at going from 2022 into 2023. Okay. Some of the messages may be for you. Maybe just a few, maybe a lot. I really welcome and hearing in the comments, you know, how that is for you. But only take what resonates because it is a general reading. We're going to start off by asking your archangels what it is that they'd like to, you know, what is their piece of, like, like, what is the two cents that they'd like to give? The guidance from the angels for you, your archangels. Then we're going to look at what are you doing well? What is already benefiting you when it does come to your karma, you know, your law of attraction? Then what is the right question we're going to use stock tarot for that? What is the focus that you want to focus on? Maybe what you want to let go of could it be? And then also some guidance going forward and going to clarify using the light seer's tarot. If you do watch this whole reading from beginning to end, I would really appreciate it because it most certainly does help me out with the YouTube algorithm. You got the justice card coming out there, Leo. A little bit on the side, does things feel a little bit unfair towards you at the moment? They would ask in Are things feeling unfair towards you at the moment? What's going on? All right. Um, it says, fight for injustice and equality, rulings made in your favor and don't give up. But for many of you, I feel that you are in the space where, you know, as it's so beautifully portrayed in this image, where you kind of feel like you've like you're in between worlds, in between spaces, neither here nor there, you know, a little bit displaced, um, not quite centered, you know, um, where it's it's almost like I feel for many of you, my beautiful Leos, that things could feel like they're okay and they're all right, they're fine, as long as you sort of stay where you at. You know, like you don't make any sudden changes or any movements or don't take any swift risks or nothing like that. It feels like in that sense, everything is fine as long as you, I suppose, play it safe. But you, it feels like some of you are quite fed up of the whole playing it safe thing. Like, you know, it's not really what you want to do. You'd like something with a little bit more sort of like meat on their bones, you know, like something a little bit more spicy. So we're going to see what that is all about. But definitely things that have been feeling very unfair towards you. Your card came out right there from the Good Tarot, Page of Earth, Page of Pentacles. But I just want to speak about this card a little bit more. Um, this justice energy, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Leos. Um, I feel that for many of you, non-action is actually the best thing for you right now. Non-action is the most beneficial step, I feel, for many of you right now. Because the scales has very much been even. There's a lot of um, sort of like things that were whispered in the dark coming to the light. Um, you know, so secret sort of resurfacing things that were held from you. Um, things that may have been, you know, intentionally and possibly maliciously hid from you. Maybe people didn't have the best intentions. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of shenanigans coming to the light here, basically. Okay, secrets revealed, lots of them. Or at least one that has a multiple that that could almost like have multiple sort of like negative um, connectations um, that's coming to light. All right, and then the page of Earth, which is the page of Pentacles. I always think this is the cutest, cutest card in the deck. The Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. Um, there's a lot of symbiology happening in this card. I'm not going to go into it because it's going to be way too much details. But the reminder here for you, beautiful, beautiful Leo. Um, is that you are part of the earth. I want to actually stay with these horns over here for you very quickly. Horns are a sign of power, really. Um, and it's almost like, think of it almost like an antenna that you are putting out, like a radio or a television or like a Wi-Fi antenna, basically, that puts, picks up the signal that's already over here. And I feel for many of you, you are picking up very powerful guidance from the universe, from your guides, from your angels at the moment. So what's happening in your sleep state, in your dream state, you know? 
what is repeating itself life is giving you some brilliant ideas here for moving forward so any sort of epiphanies that are coming up leo pay attention to them all right especially if you kind of feel that maybe your sense of security is compromised at the moment be that in your workspace or just in a personal capacity um whatever is feeling sort of like displaced um there is a beautiful space here um of of solutions coming to you so if, if say for example you've got a problem and you don't know what the solution is and as i like to say just because you don't see the solution doesn't mean that it doesn't exist you know so if you're in that space where it almost feels like you don't know what to do open yourself to the idea that the solution can come to you the fairy realm definitely want to support you over here the energies of gaia the earth energies mother nature want to support you so either get out in nature preferably but if you can't or you don't wanna then maybe bring nature in bring in some plants you know make sure that you treat them really really well maybe create um a space designated to the fairies like a fairy garden for example there's many things that you can google um, or many things that you can search on youtube for creating a fairy garden so that is definitely recommended for you so that um the solution that is in the earth already in the earth um existence can actually come to you okay now let's see what is it that you want to focus on what is the right question to ask what is going to be to your highest benefit and also what is the guidance going forward for you so try to not be very mindful to try and act from ego that's one thing that's coming up for you leo um and you can be there for everyone but it's also important for you to remember that it's not your job to save everyone okay be very careful of that all right so let's first look at the right question we've got ones there and it says virtue the three of ones so this is speaking about your strength and this is speaking about your um your readiness you know in traditional right away tarot the three of ones is long story short it'll be like your ship is in the harbor your ship is coming in okay and the the three uh, it's very much about the trinity um the allness of who you are you know you are not just human you are a soul having a human being experience that is your 3d experience but you come from the allness from the quantum field so to speak that is in a nutshell long and short 5d and then there's a space in between the land in between where you know normally you either you know if you do something like mediumship you know or um typically like in regression hypnosis sessions or in the sleep state um, this is basically where the connection takes place which is much more in the 4d okay that space in between that magical realm in between that realm is letting you know that it it's not just here to support you now it's always been here to support you it's just reminding you yo leo in case you forgot a little bit you don't have to face everything in this life alone you don't have to go through every challenge on your own there is a tremendous amount of support that's available for you that has always been available for you but it, it does you know you are you are reminded that you're going to open your heart to that okay let's clarify that what is it that you got to open your heart to what is available for you what is this what is the ship coming into your harbor my dears haha what is this good news for leo what is the good news man oh breakthrough moment there with the tower do you know so many times people see the tower and they go like oh goodness here we go again roller coaster vibe and you know why a lot of times you get that roller coaster vibe same thing with like mercury in retrograde and like mars is in retrograde at the moment and all the sort of things it's because you're expecting it okay so um remember everything that happens on the outside whether that is the person right in front of you or whether that is a planet that is way out there you know however far away from you how many ever millions or billions of kilometers from you or miles or whatever it's all an outer expression of who you are in the same way that we as humans are an outer expression of the planets of the cosmos you know so we reflect one another 
And I feel that for many of you, you haven't been operating in the best way for yourself. There's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of prosperity. I feel breaking through for you. But first, you need to be made aware of the things that are not working out. What have you been holding on to? What if you've been insisting you want this in your life? Come what may, I will not cut their tie. Because for some of you, it may have been time to let a certain energy person go a long time ago, but you didn't. And now you, you, you let me explain this to you like this. So let's say you want to manifest something specifically, whatever that is. So this is where you are and that's where you want to be. That is the manifestation that you want, but this is where you are. Whatever's happening here, there are things that you might be holding on to that is not in core alignment with what you want, but you're insisting that, that you want to manifest that. So life then says to you, okay, what do you really want, this or that? No, I want that. Okay, then you need to be made aware of what you're not holding on to here. Yeah. And so a lot of times when the calamities happen, we feel that it's life against us and it's the devil and it's the dark forces and the demons and the whatever. No, it's you. You know, because that's what you want. So life is, there's a big cleanup that's taking place for you at the moment. A big spring clean to make space for the new. All right. Um, lots of abundance coming about here for you. There are releases that are taking place. And you are reminded that, and this is coming up for a number of people that you can release with peace. Okay. Don't say you did this to me and I, I'm going to do that to you. I'm going to show you who I am. Wow, I'm a lion. No, 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 no. You know, remember what you give out is what comes back to you. Oh, guidance going forward. Ace of Cups. Abundance, prosperity and success. Abundance, prosperity and success. If you are open to this, place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath and let me repeat it for you one more time. Abundance, prosperity and success, beautiful Leos. Be open to receive. The universe want to bless you. The universe want to let you know of all the amazing things that are, well, let's rather say the universe want to bring those amazing things into your life. It doesn't just want the ship to be in the harbor. It wants the ship to dock in front of your house, you know, at your pier. Are you open to that? Okay. So please try your best not to hold on to anything. So this I definitely feel, Leo, this is a space of releasing. It's, it's a space of not holding on to anything. It's not so much a space of taking action. It's a space of allowing a rebalance to take place. You know? Let the heaviness go. Don't hold on to anything. Don't hold on to anyone. For many of you, it could feel like your life is falling apart. It's shifting into space. There we've got the three of ones again, twice. Okay? Powerful confirmation. Three of ones, seven of ones, and the page of pentacles. New ideas coming up here for you. Powerful ideas. Powerful epiphanies. This is the same as this card. So there's a lot of um, there's a lot of confirmation here for you. The universe wanna let you know, Leo, that the, it wanna let you know that Baba, I got you. You are not alone. It's like Michael Jackson used to say, you know, you are not alone. I am here with you. No, we're far away. Prosperity is here to stay. You know what I'm saying? Claim it for yourself. There's new things opening. I see your, your sacral chakra. If you don't know what it is, go Google it. Go look it up. Your power is like, like really, it's like a, you're getting to a space where the things that are bothering you, your energy is becoming such a nature that you're rising above things. So everything doesn't need to be resolved. Everything doesn't need to be unpacked. Everything doesn't need to be set with because certain problems are simply melting away because your energy is no longer in alignment with it. All right. Your ship's in the harbor. Get, get ready for amazing things. Get ready for amazing things, okay? And that's what I got for you, Leo. So I hope that that helps. Um, if any of you are open to learning to read the tarot, there's some links for my courses down below in the description. First couple of lessons are free. Thank you for watching. And I'd really appreciate you liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. I'll see you next time, beautiful Leos. Ciao, ciao, ciao.